Hi, for today, we are going to discuss HCF, which stands for highest common factor, or GCF, which means greatest common factor. They're pretty much the same, they're the same thing. And the LCM, which is least common multiple. So we are going to discuss what they are, and we're going to use two methods in order to find them. So let's start. Let's use 9 and 6 as our example. When you say HCF, it means what is the biggest number that can divide 9 and 6 at the same time. And the biggest number that can divide it would be 3. So that would be the LCM. Example, let's just say we have 18 and 12. So 18 and 12 are divisible by a lot of numbers. So they are divisible by 2, by 3, by 6. And the biggest number that can divide both of them would be 6. So that is the HCF or the GCF for 18 and 12. Let's go for LCM. LCM, on the other hand, means the least common multiple. For example, you want to find the LCM of 9 and 6. The idea is you're going to write 6 and 9, and then you're going to write all the multiples of 9 and 6 until you finally find the smallest number that is both exist on 6 and 9. For example, for 6, we start with 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. For 9, we have 9, 18, and so on. And as you can see here, this is the smallest multiple of 6, of six and 9, so their LCM would be 18. So that is the basic idea of LCM and HCF. And now we're going to discuss how to get any HCF and LCM of two, a, uh, two numbers. Let's start on using 24 and 36. By the way, this is method 1, which is mostly for the UK curriculum based. We're going to have to find the HCF and LCM of 24 and 36. First of all, we need to find the prime factor for 24 and 36. When you, say prime, when you say prime factor, all you have to do is to find out the factors of 24. So you can choose any number 2, 12, 6, 4, 8, 3. So you can choose a lot of different numbers. And then circle if the number is prime. It means if you cannot simply uh, if you cannot find two numbers that multiply to it, except 3 and 1. So don't use 3 and 1 or 1 because it's useless. You're just going to keep on repeating it. So we're going to stop on 3. So for 8, we're going to do 4 by 2. We can stop at 2, but 4 can still be written as 2 and 2. So basically, 24 could be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So I'll just write it here. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Let's go for 36. We'll do the same thing. So I'll start with 18 and 2. I'll circle it because you can't factorize it anymore. Let's do for 9 and 2. Circle. 3, 3. Circle those. So 36 could be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So that is how you factorize or, fa or find the prime factorization for 24 and 36. Now let's find out the LCM and HCF. So this technique is by using Venn diagram. So we're going to find the HCF and LCM of 24 and 36. First of all, draw two circles that are overlapping. So one for 24 and one for 36. So first thing that you're going to have to find out is to find a common numbers that you see on 24 and 36. So we have two, uh, we have two so let's cross one, two. Let's write it on the middle because this is the overlapping part. I see another 2, so cross those 2's, put it on the middle. And then I see 1, 3, 1, 3, I'll put it here. Now, looking at the 24, we still have one more number which is 2. So just put it on the side of 24, which is the empty space. And then for 36, we still have 3, so let's put it on the side of 36. So to find the HCF, HCF is basically the one on the center, so which means 2 by 2 by 3. So our HCF then would be 2 times 2, which is 4 times 3, which is 12. So it means the biggest number that can divide 24 and 36 would be 12. Let's go for LCM. 
For the LCM, on the, on the other hand, all you have to do is to multiply every single number that you see. So we have 2 and every single one of it. So LCM would be 2 by 2 by 2 by 3 by 3. Multiply them all and you'll get 72. So that would be the LCM for 24 and 36. I will be discussing a second technique or a second method which is much faster. So stay tuned guys. Okay, so for the other technique which is this one, which is much shorter. So this is how we find the LCM and HCF. So first is think of two numbers that can divide 24 and 36. You can start with any number as long as it can divide them. It would be better if you can get the biggest number. But if you can't get the biggest number, it's fine. You can always start at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'll start with 2. Then you'll divide, you'll divide 24 by 2, then write it below, 12. 36 divided by 2, which is 18. So again, do it again. Think of, think of any two numbers that can divide 12 and 18. So I can start with 2 again, or 6. We can have 6 or 2, your choice. Okay? But I'll start with 6 so I can have a faster answer. So 12 divided by 6, which is 2, so put it down. 18 divided by 6, which is 3. 2 and 3, there's nothing that can divide them both other than 1. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to have 2 and 3 again, so it's pointless. So we can stop now as long as there's nothing that can divide them. And to find the HCF and LCM, this is how you do it. For HCF, for HCF all you have to do is to multiply every number that you see on this side. So that is the HCF, which is 2 times 6, which is 12. So that is the HCF. For the LCM, you're going to be multiplying all of these numbers. Everything that you see on the L part, this part. So 2 by 6 by 2 by 3. If you multiply all of it, you will get 72. And as you can see, it's the same answer as the one before, but this technique is much faster. So that's for HCF and LCM, guys, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.